Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the monthly map reading for the sign of Aquarius, my Aqua, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is for the month of August. Guys, please remember these are general readings. Times fluid and energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you are here for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you welcome back let's start aquas we will be there you go i can't even finish the sentence the cards want to talk clearly this wants to come out too we will be carrying on with the monthly map readings wherein you see different aspects of your life kind of coming together we see basically in a broader way what's going on in life as i see the queen of air and the king of air both coming in together it's clarity coming in but at the same time there is some kind of clash in opinion it's like you're agreeing to disagree with somebody there is a very strong-headed sense that i have that both the parties involved you and the other one they both are very very um stubborn in the sense that what i'm saying is right by my logic you are not ready to buy somebody else's logic so there is where we need to kind of come to certain terms because we are at a crossroad now we don't know how to move forward it's come to this edge this cliff wherein we need to bring in some inner enlightenment some inner light to figure out a way we need to find a midway i feel and we are at that juncture somewhere in our life right now eight of earth focused on something focused on money or something that we have been putting a lot of effort in now let's see what that is spirit can we get something for the eight of earth side please seems like you're definitely working on something and probably there is someone involved with you in that and you both feel that logically you both are right and probably you are it's just that we are not ready to by other person's logic we are very hell-bent on the way we are thinking and our logic being right it's like you are looking at a six and it's a six for you so you are you know fighting about it that it's a six and the other person sees it as nine it's just the difference in perspective the thing might be the same we have star coming in that's beautiful whatever we are working on we have a lot of faith in it or we are told to have faith in it that it's going to work because it seems like we are coming out from some place wherein a lot of things did not work the way we thought that it should work but know that it did not work because something better was supposed to come in and that is what we are focused on that's what we have been working on the tower moment coming with the star is this divine way of telling you that what you were doing was not for your highest purpose and that is the reason it did not work and probably that is the reason we are at crossroads here and probably that is the reason why we are being so rigid because we do not want things to mess up i think it's also a sense of control that you get if you're using your own logic rather than buying somebody else and the consequences that you will have to face then if you follow other person's logic is something that you are not ready for because in some ways you are scared that this tower moment might reoccur in life yeah that's the reason we are right now at the two of wands phase 10 of earth look we are trying to work on our prosperity on something a project that we are focused on as i said this could very well be something that's going to bring you prosperity something that's directly linked to your money wealth abundance and probably we are starting from scratch we have a certain vision for it and we do not want to tweak it 
there is a lot of abundance coming your way probably not the way that you had expected it to come this change has made you a little stubborn and cold hearted we need to open up we need to bring in that fire and we need to believe and have faith in whatever is going on is happening for our best look chariot and the call this is moving this is victory the 10 of earth and chariot coming in together feels like whatever that you have your eyes set on whatever new that you have started from scratch you being at square one and starting from there has brought in a shift of paradigm altogether there is a complete shift in the way your life looked probably before than it looks now clearly and you had to take a call and it feels like that whatever call this is is now more in alignment with what you are supposed to do here than what you were doing earlier and there is a lot of good news there's a lot of happiness there's a lot of abundance there's a lot of that sense of yes i did it is coming in and it feels very in tune with what you want to do truly and not what comes your way and you know you don't have any other way to support your people financially or yourself to you know stay afloat that you had been doing so far but what you are doing now and probably you are doing multiple things and that's the reason you do not want to deflect from your vision by somebody else's opinion but that whosoever is who's giving you that piece of his or her brain also has a certain logic i'm told again and again we need to move away from this stubborn way of doing things let's see what's more for my aquas what is more for my aquas spirit look this is what i'm talking about that from the past that you feel might come your way again we need to let go of this fear that this tower might reoccur that is what is keeping us making that decision of walking on the path that we want to walk on even though we have that feeling that we are in the right direction to be moving forward towards the path that kind of is in tune with us but there is still in the background a sense of fear lurking because something from the past is kind of haunting you this could as well be a couple you know who is in separation or who is kind of you know their relationship is hitting rocks it's time to move on either from the relationship or from the disagreement whatever this is having the hope that all that is going to happen is going to happen for your good and there could be sudden things that might unravel or unearth something that is going to help you take that final call one for the chariot please okay seven of fire a lot of confidence there a lot of confidence aquas whatever that you have set your eyes on and whatever that you are moving towards we need to have that sense of conviction that we are going to reach this 10 of earth that is what is required of us now this whatever that is lurking in the past or the fear that's in the background this is what we need to work upon final word please last card hermit look we need to take a time out this is taking a time out and looking at things from a different perspective this is doing a lot of introspection of what's going on and how do i need to you know move forward from here that's what i feel for you is needed feels like things have gained momentum and in that because it is happening sudden or not as and when you were expecting you are a little hesitant 
and you are told to have full conviction in the work that you have put in and have faith that things are going to work out rather than you know being all melancholish and brooding over something that happened in the past we need to look towards the future we need to move with conviction and confidence that we are going to reach our destination we are going to follow our call but for that i feel because we are in a rush of doing things and in some ways trying to convince others actually look we have the magician at the bottom clearly we are trying to make something happen but we need to take a breather i feel to process all this we do need to take a breather to process all this let's clarify people why do we have the queen of air the queen of swords my cut the crap couple is here very sharp tongued very sharp eyed very much focused on the target comes up with a blueprint very no nonsense energy that we have here queen of swords is clarified by the queen of swords my loves wow look at that yeah this is very very ambitious energy this is very very you know straight to the point energy and that is the reason why i feel that there is this clash of opinion because somehow you don't really get that real feel it there is this undercurrent with this king of air look we have the two of cups and the moon coming in this king of air might be very sharp tongue just like you are very no nonsense also does not show his true intention his true feelings we have the moon and the two of lovers whatever that is being said is being said out of love but the way it comes out is too harsh for you to even believe an iota that this is coming out of love the communication is to cut throat but the underlying energy that we have here is love actually eight of let's see what we have here three of pentacles and the chariot look we have chariot twice you are definitely working towards something you're moving towards a goal this is a lot of hard work being put in a lot of focus being put in lovely aquas very very ambitious very determined energy that i feel here why do we have the two of fire the two of wands what is this crossroads that we are at we have the strength that conviction that i was talking about it is taking a lot of energy but we need to have that sense of conviction courage and ambition and king of cups along with the strength you need to believe in your gut you need to believe in how you truly feel it feels like there is someone now whether it is this king of air or you yourself standing in that queen of air energy it feels like there's a lot of love but nobody's showing it and that is the reason why there is this unpleasant vibe where actually there shouldn't be any unpleasant vibe it's just that the way your affection for each other is coming out it doesn't even feel like affection so we need to really work on our way of expressing affection and emotions to each other all parties involved here but clearly aquas you can do what you can do you cannot force others all you can do what is in your control is you and your response so rather than you know working from fear perspective we need to start processing our emotions and work from love and affection side you know star why do we have star spirit please clarify the star there's so much of hope in here there's so much of you know divine blessings that i feel two of pentacles here 
look there are two things here that i feel one is someone with whom you have a connection you feel deeply for them but you are not able to express it because i feel like you are emotionally constipated or you have fear of being vulnerable one is that and the other is this entire 10 of earth you know working on some project or something that really feels like you're calling and you've been juggling this quite a bit since quite some time you need to have faith that whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen for your best in in your best interest for your best the tower what is this sudden change in the background in the environment that oh, we are looking at seven of pentacles look eight of pentacles seven of pentacles coming in it's like stay focused in what you are doing but there needs to be some kind of patience as well if there would be some sudden changes happening and this feels more like that back to square one everything kind of came crashing down something unearthed and you guys are working on it and you are told keep working on it but have the patience you know don't rush into taking a call making a decision let's go on the call look four of pentacles yeah take your time take your time and don't take any extreme decisions there needs to be a sense of moderation here there seems to be a sense of you know meeting somebody midway that's what we need to do let's go on the 10 of earth 10 of pentacles for my aquas lots of abundance lots of happy times sense of yeah this is what i was supposed to do four of cups nine of swords and three of wands wow you're really worried about making it big making whatever this project is a success remember how you see success and how the world sees success is not the same so keep your eye open and your mind open to how the divine is sending it to you clearly there is some movement happening you are you know moving into the right kind of direction that is at this point in time needed in life three of wands two of wands chariot coming in twice there is a shift of energies clearly chariot two of swords coming in look this is what i was saying that you are so ambitious you are so driven but there is some thing in the back end there is something in the subconscious there is something in the background that's making you you know second guess yourself and you are told again and again you need to have that conviction and you need to have that faith that whatever has happened in the past whatever this tower moment was because of which you had to take a certain call or i feel that this might be right now being processed by you or happening it's all to do with some kind of trauma from the past that's coming in let's go to the six of cups six of waters six of waters why do we have six of waters spirit please clarify six of waters king of pentacles this could have been a complete crash of business or you know as we know now the aftermaths of covid are showing themselves in full bloom so when we were hit by the pandemic we were in that flight and fight mode so this is when we turn back and see the disaster the trail of destruction that it has left probably that is the reason you're scared because you lost quite a bit in the past we have tower moment and it somehow feels like it had something to do with how you were supporting yourself and your people that is the reason why you are so worried this time around even though you do feel that this is really in alignment with your purpose your call but you're still afraid 
you're still scared that is the reason why we need to take that break that is the reason why you are told that you need to have that confidence and conviction in whatever you are doing seven of fire spirit seven of fire why do we have the seven of fire please clarify please clarify seven of fire for my aquas for the spread look it is standing in your truth and gaining more knowledge that is what is going to get you out of this scary mode scary cat mode five of pentacles that oh my god would i have enough would i be able to again get to this you know comfortable spot there's a lot of worry around money i feel you are clearly working towards it but it seems like that is the reason why we are being so rigid about our plan because we feel this is how it can work otherwise it's not gonna work it's gonna come crashing down just like in the past so there is a sense of control that i feel here uh, we need to really you know broaden our horizons page of sword is new knowledge coming in new information coming in we need to you know keep our eyes and our heart open to receive four of swords again it's taking me to that hermit that energy is coming in where we need to take a break where we need to look into things from all angles and take a breather ten of cups look we have a lot of abundance coming your way seven of wands coming in again seven of fire believe in yourself that you can create this magic king of earth right here what you are scared of that you lost everything you're gonna gain everything again look we have the ten of waters the ten of cups showing itself again wonderful the king of water again it's just repetitive cards again and again you need to have faith people you need to have faith everything is working in your favor just don't do this negative affirmation like what if you know it's like blotching your own son don't do that don't do that aquas believe that this time around it's gonna work have faith and relax a bit okay don't have to be so uptight we, i feel that you're being very 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 uptight know that there are people around you who love you and probably just because the way you are responding or reacting to whatever they want to tell you even they are being like you know what f you i don't care but they do care okay just know that let us get you an oracle guidance message from a yogic path oracle deck absolutely gorgeous deck one of my first ones and i absolutely love it don't use it too often because i'm scared like i'm gonna destroy it or something <laughs> it's so beautiful look at that china matsa wow that's makali right there that is an intense card look at that let me read this out for you goddess of radical self transcendence wow you're waking up and experiencing the radical pleasures of letting go chinamasta the headless goddess has come to guide you in this massive state of transformation as you turn passion into spiritual energy kundalini primal energy is rising and you have given up a role once carried to step up more fully into your power don't feel fear in this state of transition i feel this is to do with the king of air and the queen of air this relationship this is the guidance this connection whatever you have this is the guidance for that don't feel fear in this state of transition chinamasta's gift is to transmute the darkest of times into the most powerful energies Carry her fierceness as you tear off a former head you had once 
and experience the inner peace that comes with being divinely yourself be in tune with your true calling and do not be afraid to let go that is when hermit comes into play take that break to do this introspection and be comfortable in where you are without any fear of what's going to happen in the future and on that beautiful beautiful note my act was i'm going to take your leave i thank you all for joining me today it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods